amazing or work away, it's more impressive. This is potassium permanganate, KMNO3, plus H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide. So get a bigger here, hopefully without breaking stuff. And I'm gonna pour a little bit of hydrogen peroxide into it, um, aiming at about 150 to 200 milliliters or so. That's pretty good. Another one bites the dust. And here's the potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate is a purple crystal in its natural form, and it's ground up pretty small into a small little um, powder. So keep in mind that it should be purple, and it doesn't take much to actually get the reaction going. Okay, so right off the bat, what indicators are we seeing? Color change. Yeah. Okay, so color change, gas production. And the gas that's being produced is actually heavier than the air around it. And you can actually see it sinking, okay? And then it should be purple, like I said, but what color is actually coming out? Brown. 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 So let's go ahead and check color change. Definitely check gas. No, there's no weird odor coming off of it or anything like that. And as the reaction continues, you can actually see the purple crystal that clung to the side and didn't make it into the uh, hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to add just a little bit more. That's cool. There we go. Now that's taking over the rest of the hydrogen peroxide. And as it begins to settle down, it will start to look like something you're familiar with and see almost on a daily basis. What does that kind of look like? Oh, soda. Okay, so. This is why we tell you guys when you come into class and there's a lab set up, don't touch the science equipment and the chemicals because when you come in, say it's after athletics or something, you're, you're parched. Oh, soda, thanks, Mr. Wagner. Glug, glug. Boom, congratulations, you did. Okay. So don't touch that sort of stuff. It's a good little like uh, safety reminder. Now, this is, it's not terribly remarkable, so I won't worry about bringing it about so you can touch it, but on the sides where the reaction was starting, it is just a little bit warmer than room temperature, so what can I also check? Temperature change, very good. All right, so that was our most tame reaction, so we're gonna amp it up, get a little bit better. Who does this? Oh. Yeah. It smells like or I killing gummy bears. Anymore. He told us it wasn't. What? Killing gummy bears? Really <laughs> cool. It doesn't smell like it. No, but when you first Whoa, hey. Shh. Listen. Okay. Oh, uh, switch gears. Our next one, write it with me, it is called polyurethane foam. Did you get your hat? We're going to make another one. Yeah, right now we're going to make Is there a particular color you would like? Green. Uh, green, blue, red, yellow, or any color that can come out of the combination is here. Red, you can have red. Okay. Um, we're doing polyurethane foam. Now, polyurethane foam is something you guys are actually probably familiar with. How many of you guys have ever seen the spray foam that goes into like the insulation of houses? Or up in the attic, that kind of stuff. That's basically what this is. Um, it's a little bit different. It's a little slower reacting, so it's you know the uh, chemistry or the uh, Sesame Street version of chemistry. Uh -oh. yeah. There, there it is. This is the one that makes the big foam. Wait, is there going to be a big foam? Polyurethane foam comes in two parts. There's part A and part B. Part A Later. looks a lot like Later. honey or vegetable oil. What is it really? What are you doing? There we go. Like, what is that? Like, like um, the chemical makeup of it. Um, it's not actually written on here, but um, yeah, it's it's got a lot of things in it. It's, it's organics. It's got some carbon in it. All right. Now here's part B. Part B is a little darker, but when they mix together, it looks a lot like syrup. All right, and because Mrs. Laughlin requested red, like I'm videoing the whole thing. Mrs. Laughlin, she's right there. Right there. Right there. Back there. Oh, I can't see that. 
All right, get some red squeeze in there. Now, to accelerate the reaction, because right now not a lot's happening, right? To accelerate the reaction, we're actually going to mix them up. So we'll start stirring, 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 get the food coloring in there. Wait, wait, does this count as a precipitant? No, this would not count as a precipitant. Now, wait, let's discuss that for a second, Ian. Why, why would you think it would count as a precipitant? Because it's forming a solid when it's stirred. Well, okay, so you have to be careful with that, though, because... This is forming a solid in the long run, not because I combined them, but because it dries out. See the difference? We also heard color change back here. So why do you think it's a color change? But what did we do to change it to red? With, but also the there we go. coloring. So it's picking up speed already. Looks like a solid. Oh, 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 Let's hope when I try to make this. Okay, now, the paper towel is down for a couple of reasons. One, minimization of mess, and two, this foam has some unique properties in that whatever it touches, it tends to bond to. Not in a, like, oh, I'll just get a little like bit of glue? soap and wash it off. Like, it chemically fuses with it so that you can't wash it clean. It's not coming off. Last year, I actually touched this on three different fingers. It was these three fingers on my right hand. It was on my hand for almost two weeks until the skin underneath grew enough that it flaked off on its own. Can you okay? No, I don't want to do that right now. Now, okay, let's talk about indicators. What are we seeing right here? Gas. Oh. Okay, now, wait. How do we know it's a gas? Because I don't see any gas coming out. Let's see what you got. Because it's expanding. It's expanding, and usually any kind of expansion is because of a gas production. Okay, we already talked about color, so can we check color? No, it's it's red because I added red, not because the chemicals made it red. What color would it be without the red? Now, there's no uh, no detectable real odor coming off of it. Can we check light and flame? No. no. And the only other one we could possibly check is temperature. And if I hover my hand over it, yes, there is a little bit of heat coming off of it. And so I can definitely do temperature change. Mason asked what color. 